All righty, everybody. Welcome back to the St. Paul Handicapable YouTube service. Can you believe that we're into the month of May? We've got a fabulous service tonight. All right, here we go. Let's get started. One of the things we've been working on is trying to go in and revise some of our songs, have a different setting. Uh, and so we've done that with a lot of our upcoming services. So I hope you enjoy some of the new formats that you'll be seeing. Tonight we're going to start off with uh, Andrea leading the singing, Decided to Follow Jesus, and This Little Light of Mine. Both of those are signature songs of Andrea. Okay, Andrea, here we go. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. The world behind me, the cross before me, the world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me. No turning back, no turning back. Though no one go with me, I still will follow. No one go with me. I still will follow. No one go with me. I still will follow. No turning back. No turning back. Will you decide now to follow Jesus? Will you decide now to follow Jesus? Will you decide now to follow Jesus? No turning back, no turning back. Wasn't that terrific? All right, now we want you to join in with this song. How about that little light? We're gonna get it to shine tonight. Andrea, let's see what you can do with this wonderful combined congregation out here. Yep. All right, here you go. Yep. <laughs> this is a light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This is a light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Andrew, you did such a fabulous job. We just appreciate you and your family and all you have meant to us through these many, many years. Well, recently we had our big handicapable luau party and everybody loves to see themselves in action and at the photo booth. All right, here we go. Take it away.
show them the camera. <laughs> Wave, wave, you're having a good time. Yeah. Yeah. All righty, way to go, Jenny. Good good dance. You're going to be on the video. Get in there with them, Dale. See you Wednesday, okay? Bye. Thank you for coming. Y'all have a good time. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. Bye, Candy. Bye, gang. Okay. We'll see you Wednesday. Tommy, thank you for coming. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you can see how much fun that we have at Handicapable. And we want to invite each and every one of you who have never been to one of our in-person worship services to come and attend and be a part of that. Jesus has promised to us from Philippians 4, verse 13, In Him who is the source of my strength, I have strength for everything. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we just thank for this opportunity to once again to reach out to the markets outside of the walls of this particular church, St. Paul United Methodist Church in Largo. Oh, Father, may we touch the hearts of those who need help at this particular time and they can see and witness what a wonderful ministry we have going on here. We invite each one to come and be a part of it. Bless us in all that we do, O oh Father. Just thank you for your continued love, support, and encouragement. For we ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. All right, we're going to start with a new lesson series. And I thought I'd come up with a certain Bible verses, and we'll call these Christian rules to live by. The first one is always be honest. The verse comes from Proverbs in the Old Testament, chapter 12, verse 22. The Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in people who are trustworthy. Always be honest. You can see the picture of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This was a picture that was actually drawn by one of our longtime handicapped volunteers, Jean, and she did a beautiful job. She said, Horton, what kind of picture do you want of Jesus? I said, Jean, make it where Jesus is smiling. We can see the love. And absolutely, we can see the love of Jesus in that picture. All right, the first thing he did where Jesus was honest, he was always honest with his teaching. You know, people loved to follow him wherever he went. As he moved from community to community, he brought large crowds with him, and they were just uh, mesmerized by the way that he taught, the words that he had to say, and his words and his teachings always were filled with truth. What about the many, many times that he would go into a community, people were looking for some type of healing, maybe they had suffered some type of illness for a long time. Jesus having the love that he had, he wanted to shower those people with his love, and especially with his healings. And so he was always honest in his dealings with people that he came to heal. Also about his promises. You know, some of the promises that we talk about is always a part of every service that we do. Some of the promises that's in Scripture, and it's just like we were talking about earlier. And him who is the source of all of our strength, Jesus is there to provide strength for us whenever we need it. And also when the disciples, the disciples had gathered together and Jesus was getting ready to depart back into heaven, he said, remember, I'm with you always, 
even to the end of the age. Those are some of the promises of Jesus and everything. All right, let's look and always look and see what it may be. And we try to pick out different handicapable members. The number one I want to pick out tonight is our good friend Grovey. Grovey has been a part of Handicapable since back uh, almost from the very beginning. I remember he was a part, and she was a part of Dry Group Home, and they were the ones who came to, I think they were right at the very first group home that came to Handicapable back in the spring of 1998, and Grovey was one of the ones that came. And some of the things I want to share with you about Grovey. Grovey, when you're looking for an honest man, Grovey is an honest man. Uh, one of the things that we have enjoyed, and he's gotten a lot of publicity uh, through the local newspaper and television with his boat marina. Uh, Renee and I had the opportunity to go and visit when we were handing out a handicapable storybook, and Grovey had the opportunity to show us and tell us all about his marina and all of his boats and docks that he has there. You can see from the picture, it just reflects all the work that he does with his boat marina. Also, another thing that uh, Grovey has always been honest about is weather forecast. He's kind of like our weatherman, we call him. So often he'll come in with one of our in-person worship services and says, Horton, if we need rain, he'll say, Horton, it doesn't look real good right now. It doesn't look like we're going to get rain anytime soon. Or if there's a threat of a storm, say, Horton, listen, we've got to be alert because there's a possibility that maybe a hurricane or tropical storm or bad weather system might uh, move in. Grover, you always keep us alert with all of your forecasts. And one of the greatest things I love about uh, Grover is when he comes in and says, Horton, the big game is on tonight. And it may be a football game with the Bucks, or it may be with the Rays baseball. And especially if one of our teams is in a slump and not doing real well, he'll come up and say, listen, we need to try to make some changes. We got to get our team back on course. Grover, we love you with the love of the Lord. You've been such an inspirational part of all that we do here. So always we want to remember to be honest because the Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in people who are trustworthy. All right, remember the three things we need to do to become better followers of Jesus. We need to follow Jesus. We need to read, believe, and act on his word. And we need to pray for strength and guidance. And if we do those things, it's going to give us that opportunity to cross over that threshold into heaven and be welcomed into heaven with the open arms of Jesus. Thank you so much for being a part of us tonight. We'll see you next week. Subscribe if you're, if you're not already a subscriber and be sure and attend our in-person worship services at St. Paul United Methodist Church at the corner of Highland and Rosary. God bless you all.